According to the police, the former chief spy and the minister for security, Lieutenant General Henry Tumukunde, faces treason charges for allegedly inciting another state to wage a war against Uganda. The charges are based on Clause 23 of the Penal Code Act. Uh, the security agencies, in their view, in the said video, he indicated that if he was Rwanda, he would do, wish to support all people seeking for change in Uganda. And to their opinion and wisdom, that one amounted to inciting the government of Rwanda against Uganda and is an offense amounting to treason. However, lawyer Peter Warubiri says Tumukunde could be incarcerated without trial for some time due to the absence of a substantive director of public prosecution, DPP. Since Mike Chivita was appointed Supreme Court judge, a senior state attorney has been acting on the DPP's role. So technically, unless they appoint a DPP tomorrow, there will be nobody to sanction those charges. Warubiri, a lawyer with experience in prison cases, believes it will have to be proved beyond reasonable doubt with clear evidence and indeed, Tumukunde wants to overthrow government by force of arms if this case is to stand. There must be evidence that uh, he had the intention and he expressed that intention by some overt act to kill or injure the president using a weapon. So it will all depend on uh, what evidence there is. In 2002, what really was the lawyer for the people accused of being members of a rebel group called the People's Redemption Army? Former FDC President Colonel Dr. Kizabesige has also faced several treason cases, but according to Warubiri, none has succeeded in favor of government because the state has failed to adduce evidence against the suspects. It collapsed without uh, uh, really going further into trial. Uh, the VCJ cases, of course, they, 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 there has been never been any conviction. Uh, so many of these are holding charges. But what remains in balance is whether Tumukunde will be tried in a civilian or military court. Ordinarily, under the normal courts, but for example, if they find him with the weapons, ordinarily the preserve of the military, I think there's a section in the UPDF Act which can land him in the court martial. Jingo Francis, NTV.